business jumping lesson is we're going to introduce two very common techniques, a forward spin and a figure eight, and then we're going to combine the two together. Forward spin, very basic, hold on to your nunchaku, and you're just going to, at the side, rotate the nunchaku forward. A forward spin is because the end of the nunchaku is coming down in front of you. I know there's a target, and I'm hitting down on it. So, forward spin on the same side. I can also do a forward spin on the opposite side. So I bring my hand across, and again, I'm going to spin the nunchaku so that they're coming down in front of me. I call this a forward spin on the reverse side. To get from one side to the other, we're going to use a figure eight. And this figure eight is a crossing technique. Imagine the number eight that has been laid over on its side. So it's going in this fashion. And that's the path that our nunchaku is going to follow. So I start on my same side, and I start with a forward circle, but I cross it to the other side of my body. Then I bring up, like I'm doing a forward circle, and I cross it to the other side, back to where I started. And I just keep repeating this cross in this circling motion, and I have my figure eight. Now at first, you're probably going to swing your arm a lot as you're getting used to this motion. But as you get more comfortable, you want to tighten up the hand motion and make it more with your wrist, back and forth, nice and quick. Now I can use my figure eight to cross over between my circles and keep a continuous motion. So I'll begin here, forward circle on the same side, and then add a couple of figure eights. And when I'm ready, I'm going to cross over and forward circle on the other side. And then I can bring it back, a couple of figure eights, so I'm comfortable, back and forward circle, figure eights, forward circle, figure eights, maybe even half a figure eight, just to switch sides really quickly. So a couple of figure eights, The key with your nunchuck training is they're meant mainly simple motions, but you want to build up the speed and the control, and that's where the skill and the impressive part of the technique comes into play. So keep practicing those.